In this Cyberpunk 2077 video, I'll be quickly showing you another iconic yes. melee weapon that you're going to want to grab. It's called Cottonmouth. Don't be fooled by the name or its pimp cane-like appearance. This iconic weapon is actually a lot of fun. It has a random chance to apply both electrical damage and poison damage to anything you hit. And with a high attack speed of 4 hits per second, you're going to be applying that effect a lot. Now before I show you guys where to find this unique weapon, let's fully upgrade it to legendary quality so you guys can see what its endgame stats look like. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, we're going to be doing loads of daily unique weapon guides here on the channel. Once you have fully upgraded the cotton mouth to legendary quality, it will do around 1000 damage per second, which is 250 damage per hit, and can attack four times per second. But the most important thing about this weapon is its iconic effect. Electrically charged and tipped with venom, it deals electrical and chemical damage, with a small chance to apply poison and or shock. Specifically, it has a 35% chance to apply poison effect, which will do around 60 chemical damage, or a 20% chance to apply a shock effect, which will do around 60 electrical damage. And obviously both of those can be applied at once, making the damage per second of this weapon even higher. Also, once upgraded to Legendary, it has a further free mod slots that you can use. And also, if the damage isn't high enough for you guys, you can actually go ahead and upgrade the Cotton Mouth even further to do even more damage per second. The weapon also counts as non-lethal. Because it's a blunt weapon, it basically means that if you hit an enemy and kill them, they're deemed to be unconscious. Obviously, if you kill them with the chemical or electrical damage though, they will count as being killed by you. So if you're doing like a no-kill playthrough, make sure you're careful with that added effect. But now I'm going to show you guys how to actually get your hands on this weapon. Now, while it is possible to miss this weapon, you can actually come back here and get it if you do miss it. You just can't get it early. You're going to come here on the map to Westbrook. And just over here, you're going to find a ripper dock named Fingers. You look at where this bridge is and then you go down a bit and take a right turn down here. You can see I'm standing just on this road. It's kind of important because this place is a bit of a maze. So I kind of wanted to show you... You can see the blossom tree here, and then if you turn around, you'll see the entrance to Jig Street. So we're going to go straight on down here. This is kind of in case you need to find your way back. Then we're going to go over this bridge. Here, kitty, kitty, what's the rush? And then take a left up these stairs here. And then go right and straight on. And then you will find Fingers Clinic just here in the back alleys. Bit of a dodgy guy. Open the door here. Head on inside. Go upstairs. You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. Now you can pick up this unique weapon during the quest, the space in between, where you need to find Evelyn. Which is reasonably early on in the game that you can actually get this quest. But the iconic legendary melee weapon is actually missable. So I recommend checking out this spoiler free guide just so you can check out the weapon. Now once you do arrive at the clinic it is very busy and you need to actually get inside. You can either overpower these two people or convince them with your cool stat or the easiest way. Doesn't require any skill is just to jump out the window and come over here and you can use your technical ability to open the grate. You need a technical skill of five to do this. Or alternatively you can just kill all the people waiting so you're next in the queue. What, what the hell is this? Now obviously you need to talk to him to do the quest but we're just going to walk straight to the back of his office and in his bedroom you're going to find on his bed the, the cotton mouth which is the rare iconic weapon. Now obviously this can be upgraded all the way to legendary quality giving you the maximum amount of damage with it. Let's pick up the weapon. Now the first time you pick up the cotton mouth it's going to have a DPS of 375 and as you can see, the poison chance, shock chance, chemical damage, and electrical damage chance will increase as you upgrade it. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. The first thing we need to do is upgrade it to epic quality, and we need the following materials to do this. Obviously, if you don't understand how the crafting system works, just check out my crafting guide linked below. And now we can upgrade it to legendary. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So those are the final legendary weapon stats. Obviously those stats can change if you have your character spec to do more melee damage with the correct perks. But if you guys want to find any more unique iconic weapons in Cyberpunk 2077, check out the playlist down below in the description to find them all. We've also made a table on our website with all the base damage stat of every weapon in the game so you guys can compare everything and see what the best weapon is for your build. Drop a like if you found the video helpful and thanks for watching guys.